you need to take that into mo- into account and you need to take it into account that these are just us predicting for fun i don't think any of us acted uh on our uh predictions last year no, like, no. exactly so we still follow the basic investment investing ru- rules that we can't predict macro we can't predict what the future holds and and we still try and invest with as uh risk adjusted as possible if that's the correct term it isn't the correct term but it's close um i uh, so i think everyone just needs to take that account and it is it is certainly not advice and uh it's just a bit of fun that we do every year so who wants to go first with one of their predictions uh i'll go first with mine because um uh, I sticking on a theme from uh, my my last year's predictions, which were were horribly wrong. Um, core inflation will be at the the target, which will essentially be between two and three by the end of twenty twenty three. Now, I think this one is a fairly safe prediction in my head, <laughs> which kind of makes me think uh, it's going to go horrendously wrong. Uh, but I posted on the Discord the other day because uh, uh, midweek the stocks fell about four and a half percent, and there was quite a lot of fear in the market. And I just pointed out to people, look, there's a lot of good still out there. I mean, you're getting swamped by the bad news, but here's a list of things that I still think are pretty good about the market. So I'll, I'll list them to you. Uh, we still have a strong labour market in the US. US consumers are still spending because we've just had the biggest ever Black Friday. Um, we're closer to a Fed pivot than we were last month. There's no actual signs of a recession yet in the U.S. economy. Uh, Supply chains have eased. Shipping costs have come down a lot. Oil has come down a lot. The rest of the commodity market is coming down and already has come down a lot. China has changed its COVID policy and it's now not locking down. We're closer than we've ever been to the end of the war. And inflation is actually coming down. So... I think combining my previous prediction with this, this is where I'm going to get like a bit a bit weird on you. I think the US could achieve this without a huge recession. And that's Ooh. my first prediction. That's a bold one. That end. I, 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 I was it. with you on the stuff it. of it. Maybe it gets to two percent. Yeah, I think I I love it. I think uh, the first question I was wow. going to ask you was: so you don't think there's going to be a re- recession la- next year, even though? Uh, people are a lot smarter than you don't think uh, think there will be I think uh, we're being talked into a recession I'm saying, I'm saying one, Stanley Druckmann yeah, sure. yeah I just don't think I just don't think from what I see when I look at the, 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 the market I just don't see this huge I actually think we're going to get potentially this soft landing that we don't think is is possible I've, I've been looking at the stats and figures for well i looked at them for about three hours this afternoon so i did what any good economist would do and did no work and uh, i actually think um i had to be bold and i had to think is it too obvious that we're going to hit this massive recession when there's still all of these good points? The key point for me, the, mm. the key problem, is going to be I don't care about the tech layoffs. And I mean, and the nicest were possible. From an economic Employment. standpoint, I don't care if tech people are losing a job. But if industry starts kicking people yeah. out, then I know I'm wrong. I, I know we're going to be in serious yeah. trouble. That's my that's yeah. my inflection point where I could tell you maybe in February if this happens, I'm going to be like, I'm wrong on this. But if industry is, keeps being reluctant to let people leave their jobs and industry maybe hires some of those tech people in, I think that's going to mm-hmm. be terrible for Endava, but that's a stock I own um, <laughs> aside from that. But if industry keeps their job and tech people lose their job, I don't think that's too bad for the economy. I think that the US could come out of this smelling of roses. Yes. Uh, I, so I, I, I don't think you're right i think you're going to be too early i think you are going to be too early i think it's going to be around four percent inflation next Starting year my life. i i think you're going to uh i think you're going to arrive too early but i do think uh i do like what you're talking about i love the the employment data that's coming out is is really telling the tech layoffs and everything like that is because that's where the inflation is loads of people are getting have been getting paid ridiculously well in the tech sector and now it's time to trim the fat in the tech center and they're all going to uh, they're all going to move around basically there is there is uh the theory out there that they are all just swapping and sharing information out there uh, so that's one of the theories that's going on but like you said uh normal industry wages are going up um 
certain industries are taking on. Uh, the one that comes off the top of my head right now is BAE Systems, which uh, is hiring another three and a half thousand people uh, because of all the US contracts they're getting on the ships and the uh, the planes. So, uh, like big, hard old industry, Tyson Foods is also hiring as well. Uh, hard industry like that is still hiring and still raising uh raising wages which is uh, the biggest sign that there's no recession in place right now because the majority of people are uh, still in a job